Hey everyone, I'm Jacqueline, and I am one half of the Border Hookups Go RVing. Also, I'm one half of the band, the Border Hookups. I'm originally from Canada, from a small town way up north, and newsflash, I love hockey. Hey everybody, my name is Dave and I am one half of the Border Hookups Go RVing as well as one half of the band, The Border Hookups. I am from a small town about 45 minutes south of Minneapolis called Northfield, Minnesota and my favorite color is blue. Who had the idea to go full-time RVing? You know, I think you had the idea originally but then I think I was the one to push it because you previously owned an RV and you went out on your own and did Katrina Relief? Is that when you had it? Yeah, that's when I had Katrina Relief and I swore to the high heavens that I would never buy another right. RV in my entire life. But with that said, I didn't know what I was doing. So when Dave brought up the idea of getting an RV, um, actually it was the idea was to get a bus we saw a couple on YouTube that had a bus and they had remodeled it and so he was showing me and asked me what I thought of that and I thought it was pretty cool and so what we did was just a ton a ton of research I can't tell you how much research we've done um, it's been almost two years just the number of YouTube yeah. videos that we have watched. Countless. Oh my gosh, and became members of Escapers and some different groups on Facebook and just so much research um, that we've done. But anyhow, the more we talked about it, the more we thought getting an RV um, and specifically a travel trailer yep. would be the best idea for us to start yep. out with because we already had a truck and everything. So um, I was pushing for it. Once the idea came to me from Dave, I was all in. I was ready, I wanted to quit my job, um, my stressful 24-7, 365 days a year job. I just, I wanted to leave it, I wanted to get out on the road and there was nothing that was gonna stop me. And A lot of times when people would ask, um, why do you want to RV full time? And, and at first it was just the adventure of it. Just getting out there and, and kind of doing the Jack Kerouac thing. I had read that book many times in college growing up and uh, I just wanted to get out there and see some see some country. I'd done motorcycle trips uh, um, where we would either trailer out or ride out and then do off-road riding and uh, fell in love with that. Then I fell in love with the sort of the minimalist feeling of having only what was with you and to be honest with you, I never missed anything and that's why I wanted to go RVing full time. And the other saying that I had that made me want to do this is when you start spending more time um, reminiscing than talking about your current state of affairs, then it's time to get some new memories. How did I personally prepare for this journey? Well, I just kind of, I'm trying to think. <laughs> what did I do? I let Dave think ahead about 18 months and then I thought ahead about three weeks yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean by the time I got to where I was thinking about it, he had already thought about it months and months yes. ago. So, yeah. But actually I was working full time and so I did leave a lot of the preparation. Um, to Dave because I had to you know be at the office and he was able to work from home and he had more free time mm -hmm. I had absolutely zero responsibilities <laughs> Spent a lot of time on the couch during the day potato <laughs> chips usually strewn down my front side watching Netflix in the office What was my biggest fear when I started to think about full-time RVing? Honestly, and this is the truth and I think that you can attest to that I don't have a big fear of full-time RVing. I really don't. I've felt pretty good about this decision since we made it. Um, maybe the thing I was kind of worried about was quitting my job because I had worked at the same job for 20 years. The question is, do I think I know enough <laughs> to live in an RV full-time? Oh no. No, 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 let's not kid ourselves here. <laughs> Do I know how to fix the RV? No, but that's what the people next to me in the campsites are for. <laughs> I am bringing one Phillips screwdriver and a buck knife, and that's it. 
So the reason that we're doing this video right now is as a trailer to our YouTube channel. Um, we kind of want people to get to know who we are as, as, as a, the Border Hookups go RVing and the van, the Border Hookups. Um, just kind of give some background, keep it, you know, nice and short and mm -hmm. let people understand where we're, where we're coming from and... Yeah, and we also want to get to know um, people out there, so we thought it would be a really cool idea to have this YouTube series and, you know, to be able to meet people out there and if, if people find some value in our videos, um, we would love to meet those people. We would love it if you'd comment on our videos and if you'd just, you know, follow us and, and kind of become a part of our um, community. We would love that. Right. Hey everybody, thanks for watching uh, uh, the Border Hookups Go RVing trailer. Um, we hope we get to meet a lot of you out on the road and we hope for those of you who aren't out on the road, someday you are out on the road and you get to follow along with our journey as we uh, head through this world of adventure and, and of simplicity, we're hoping, and just see where it takes us. <laughs> I was like, when is he gonna be finished? <laughs> when do I get to say anything? I'm finished. Maybe I should just stand here and go, huh? huh? You may speak uh -huh. now. Uh-huh. I'll just drink. Oh, look at that.